Welcome back everyone, Toys just here, and I am back yet again with yet another DC Multiverse video. And today, comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys, we have an advanced early look at their brand new... Duke Thomas, the Signal action figure. Now, I'll be completely honest with you. I know who Duke Thomas is, but as the Signal, not so much. On the back side of the packaging, the worst artwork they could have chosen. My God. And <laughs> here's the barcode for when he starts to hit store shelves, hopefully in and around February. So, this is going to be a blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, straight from Gotham City, Duke Thomas, The Signal. And while I got all you Bat Family members here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So, here is Duke Thomas, aka The Signal, all out of the packaging. And it's a pretty stellar figure. I gotta give it to him. It's impressive. Now, first and foremost, he comes with a pair of accessories. Are they ice climbing gear? I don't know. I actually looked it up. They're more like Batman sticks, if anything. And on the sides right there, you can see that uh, you could put a cord in and kind of make them nunchucks. I really wish McFarlane Toys would have done that, but it is close enough to the source material. They usually are two-piece, or you can put them together. It's your choice. It is a bit old-fashioned-y, though. Putting a string in between your weapons for a Batman figure, having Batman glide down. Yeah, it totally reminds me of the Kenner days, although it would have been cool if these could somehow have attached. Ah, either way, they're two cool weapons, and he does hold them nice. Now, in looking at this character, first and foremost, it kind of reminds me of something from Frank Miller, and then I was like, oh, it's kind of like... Mark Millar's and John Romita Jr.'s kick-ass, right? Just a little bit in the costume, but it is pretty dang accurate to the comic book source material. My bat signal, unfortunately, one of the ears is kind of messed up. It's not too noticeable, but it's there, and it's all I see now. The head portrait is pretty fantastic. This is a nice attention to detail. It just shows me that whoever worked on this figure knows their stuff, and the articulation matches to boot. It's pretty darn good with all the added hidden articulation. Now, not to say he doesn't have pins, but it's less noticeable. Except on the back, he gets real gappy right there. But it's on the back, who cares? And look at all the lines match up and everything else. He's got, uh, they, they gotta work on the ab crunch, right? We gotta do that. The waist swivel. Now, this is a good example of the quote-unquote diaper working for a figure because it melds into the costume. He's got double-jointed knees, he's got really nice texture, the boots, everything works on this figure. It's overall a nicely articulated figure, and I'm very happy with it, even though I couldn't tell you much about Duke Thomas as the signal. He's a metahuman now, he's joined forces with Batman, it's just another Batman guy running around, and uh, yeah, he likes the Batman signal enough to be named after it, apparently. And in terms of the scalature for the signal, depending on which Batman you want to use, I mean, he's short enough to at least scale with most of the Batmans in McFarlane's DC Multiverse. When it comes to the Hush Batmans, I mean, I would say that those are probably more in the realm of the correct scale. I see Batman always, he's the tallest one out of all of them. But uh, he, I think he scales pretty nicely, especially with other sidekicks. Whether or not you want to call the signal a sidekick. Anybody who's not Batman in Gotham City is a sidekick, basically, if you're under the Bat family. So, yeah, it's just how I see him. He's one of the sidekicks. And believe it or not, uh, this is not the first Duke Thomas figure we've seen. First and foremost, Mattel did the We Are Robin Duke Thomas, which is a pretty sweet costume. I actually like that. And then you had the larger... Dark Knight's metal McFarlane figure, which put on a few pounds right there. And then we have the figure, of course, we've been looking at it. So overall, solid accessories. Makes sense for this figure. Nice yellow. There's not a whole heck of a lot of paint on him, but for what's there, it's nice and crisp. The sculpt is there. I would like to see more of what I see right here going forward for McFarlane Toys in 2023. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new The Signal Duke Thomas figure by McFarlane Toys. And again, thank you to McFarlane for sending this out early for the purposes of showing him off. And you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything DC Multiverse. 
And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, you got to think. It started off as Batman and Robin. Then we got Batman, Robin, Nightwing. We got Batgirl. We got Batwoman. We got Red Hood. Stephanie Brown. Signal. It's too many Bat family members. (laughs) I'm just saying. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.